Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video, and uh, this one is just a um, putz around content wise. I've got an announcement for you guys, so I'm just gonna run some of my Blackrock Foundry uh, LFR solo queues, and I will let you know what the news is. So, for five years now, I've been making, you know, YouTube content, and I've also been streaming over on Twitch. Uh, both have been a great adventure, and one of the two is not stopping, and that one of the two is the YouTube channel. I, I love making content for you guys. I, I love knowing that I'm helping you guys out, and that, you know, I'm just making the game a little bit easier for you because World of Warcraft is kind of a tough one. You know, Blizzard has designed it where you pretty much have to Google almost everything you want to do in that game, which is a horrible design in my opinion. But I guess it benefits me because without that, there'd be no reason for me to do videos, right? So, so it benefits me. So that is not stopping. I love doing videos for you guys. Um, and Twitch isn't totally stopping, but kind of is. I, I know that probably sounds super confusing right there. Uh, basically, Twitch I've been streaming for five years. Well, almost five years. And... That's been a blast too, but it's been very up and down and it's hard to grow as a World of Warcraft streamer over on Twitch. And honestly, I'm not looking to make it big or anything. I just want to hang out with people. So streams are really there to get to know me and for us to all chill out, maybe do some raids together, do some dungeons, just have a good time. And honestly, I'm just not having a good time over on Twitch, but I love streaming. You know, it has nothing to do with the stream aspect. It has to do with the community. And I'm just ready for a new path. You know, I, I think I have given Twitch my all. We've had some good moments, but lately I feel like they just haven't been good moments. Uh, they're good moments for us that are there, but, uh, you know, part of streams, I also feel, is important for you guys to have other people to interact with, too, right? It's not just me and you. It's us, you know? Like, it's, you know, we're trying to build a community, and I want you to know that like your your buddy fred is gonna be there you know at whatever whatever time right it's it's a gathering where you know people are gonna show up and you know you could be sitting there the night before and you're like oh i forgot to tell so and so this oh i'll tell them on you know tuesday because i'll see them in stream right you know shit like that i i like those moments don't get me wrong i know that people have lives and you know not everyone can attend every stream you know obviously i know that but regulars are nice and i had that once upon a time and what ended up happening is i had it in the wrong game i had I had a following like that when I was playing Diablo 3, but Diablo 3 was an accidental stream. Like what had happened is I I had meant to stream WoW that day and WoW would not load me into the game. This was years ago. This was like maybe three, almost four years ago. And it wouldn't load me into the game but, you know, I had a schedule, I had streams, so um, I just chose to stream Diablo 3. And that brought in people, I had hosts coming in, and yeah, that created our community, basically. And then um, I rolled with that, ended up more or less regularly streaming it. WoW wasn't out of the picture, it was... 
half there, I guess. I was dividing the time because I knew I loved WoW and I always love WoW, but I knew Diablo was bringing the people in. So I was, you know, I'd have my half moments of WoW and trust me, the streams were <laughs> pretty quiet during those moments. And then Diablo where, you know, there was always people to talk to. So... So yeah, that was rough for me because while, while I do like Diablo, I, I never wanted to stream it heavily and I never wanted it to be the mainstream. So of course, around season 13 or so, I, I was legit bored of it, right? Like, yeah, and I am not one to play what... I don't want to play like I just yeah I will destroy pretty much everything to play the game I want to play you know which is why I always wanted my streams to be wow because of wow I've been playing wow for 16 well almost 16 years every day pretty much like I have not taken a break from this game ever so that tells me right there that wow can always be the streamed game and I will never get bored of it because if there was a chance I could have gotten bored playing this game, it would have happened by now, right? I would have had a burnt out moment and I have not had one yet. Like, don't get me wrong, you know, you do enough questing or whatnot, you will get burnt out of questing, but then you'd move on to another task, right? That's exactly what I'd do. I wouldn't, like, move over to a different game. I would just stop questing and, like, go start raiding or something, you know? So I always knew it was the game that could be the mainly streamed game. So I know this video is becoming a bit of a blab session, but, uh, yeah, so the moral of the story, before I make this video way too terribly long, the moral of the story is I'm going to drop the schedule from the Twitch streams. And the schedule is just going to be over here on YouTube now. Um, you know, they do say that you should never pick the platform that you want to stream on. You should pick the platform where your community is. And, you know, that is so true because I'll admit I have, for the past five years, picked the platform I wanted to stream on. YouTube, I'll admit, wasn't really ever a first choice, you know. I, I think the YouTube is a little wonky and, you know, we'll, we'll figure out some stuff for it throughout you know, our time on it. It definitely seems to lack some features, in my opinion. And maybe I've just been spoiled with having a lot of um, available options with Twitch. YouTube might be better than what I'm thinking anyway. I never watch streams on YouTube, so this is all new to me. I have never streamed on YouTube, and I literally finally went and watched a stream earlier today just to see what it looks like. You know, I'm walking in completely blind here as far as YouTube streaming goes. You know, I've, you know, back to the you should stream where your community is. I picked Twitch because I liked their, their overlay. Um, I remember there was a time where, you know, some friends of mine suggested that I should go to Mixer and I never did because of their overlay. I didn't like the way things were. With YouTube, I think it's a little different with YouTube because even if I'm not totally fond of the overlay, I do videos on YouTube. Like YouTube is my main platform. I've always thought of it as my main platform, even when I was streaming on Twitch daily. And that's mainly because my priority as far as making content has always been my videos on YouTube and then it's streams. So, and that's how Twitch has been working lately as well, is that like I, I told people straight out that 
you know, if one week I got behind in YouTube videos, I probably would only do one stream that week, you know? So that right there just kind of shows where my priorities lie as far as making content. So those that attend my Twitch streams uh, seem to be perfectly okay with the move to uh, YouTube. So that is awesome. I'm glad that at least some want to move over to YouTube with me. I say move over, but technically I've been on YouTube making videos for five years. Just um, we always used a different platform for the stream. So honestly, it's kind of ironic that it's taken me this long to do the move over. Uh, so the first stream's gonna actually be tonight because it was gonna be a Twitch stream and I'm just, you know, day by day I've been just getting more frustrated over time that the community isn't growing over there. So I'm just done. I'm done. I, you know, I, I feel like I gave him my all. Five years. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a job, right? If you don't feel appreciated at your job, you start looking for a new one. Same kind of deal, right? So we are going to do the first stream on YouTube tonight. It's going to be exactly what it was going to be on Twitch. Uh, basically, I'm going to be running some visions. I am still going after my um, male muncher mount. So I'm going to do that. You know, maybe if there's some people that want to do some stuff, we'll do something else. Uh, I don't know. That, that was my only plan for tonight. Do, do the male muncher mount. And, uh, and yeah. So as for schedule, um, okay, well, let's start with as for tonight's stream. Tonight's stream is going to be totally noobish. I have no alerts in place. I don't know how YouTube works for that shit. I have not looked into anything. I'm basically going to just go get my stream key from YouTube and apply it. And we're just going to go live. And yeah, so I'm not going to get any notifications. So if you end up following the YouTube channel or something, for sure, let me know because I'm probably not going to know. And on the weekend, I'll figure out all that shit and I'll, I'll have a little more professional of a stream on YouTube. I can't use my setup that I've been using for Twitch because Twitch has all the alerts for Twitch, right? So if I use it and someone randomly follows me over on Twitch, it's going to pop up and it, it, that person won't be in stream, you know? So, yeah. I, I will definitely figure something out for that. As far as schedule, I'm not totally sure what the schedule is. What I've come up with so far is mount runs and transmog runs are one of my biggest things I like to do. And especially on a stream because then I can chit chat with you guys while I do that. And, you know, mount runs is, you know, in the past has been a pretty good outcome for streams, you know, people get excited when I loot a mount and yeah, and you know, people bet on it whether I will or not or how many attempts it'll take. So I do like doing the mount runs in stream. So the schedule so far will be Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, it will be mount run, transmog run. And then uh, I wouldn't mind doing maybe a Friday night or Saturday night stream, one of the two, just to target maybe people that want to watch a stream but can't because they work Monday to Friday. So yeah, I was thinking maybe Saturday would be a good one. And uh, and yeah, um, that's really it for now. Uh, we'll we'll see how it goes we'll see what how the outcome is and if people want more streams we can always discuss that i do also like to play animal crossing so you know and animal crossing is also a you know video that i do on the channel so maybe you know maybe we could throw in some random games and stuff like that so 
so yeah, we'll we'll decide as a team. And yeah. And that's all I have. I'm going to end this video before it gets to be too terribly long. And I hope to see you in our first YouTube stream tonight. And actually, I guess I should tell you when it'll start. I'm aiming for 6 p.m. Mountain Time. So, so yeah, that'll be the start times. And I do occasionally like to do a day stream here and there. So, you know, I'll probably just, you know, do a stream whenever I want, more or less, right? I don't, I don't feel like YouTube streams really need a schedule, but I wanted you guys to at least know that I'd for sure be there on the Tuesdays for the Mount Runs. And, uh, and yeah, and that's all I have to say today. So hope you enjoyed. Sorry the video's up there a little later today. It was going to be a different video, and then I decided I was thinking about streaming tonight, and I'm like, oh, do I really want to stream on Twitch again tonight? <laughs> and yeah, and here we are. So, um, so yeah, once again, hope to see you in the stream, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.